Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a sales update. So yeah, I've got 10 sales in approximately 10 minutes. We might go a little bit over um, if I end up rambling a little bit. So I actually just recorded this video and for whatever reason, my OBS, which is a software I use to record these videos, um, the, the basically the screen on it that was recording my screen uh, on my computer literally just went blank. And then I ref reviewed the footage and halfway through, the, the display capture just literally turned to a black screen and you couldn't see any of the sales that I was showing. So that was really annoying and I don't know why the hell it happened and I am a bit nervous that it's going to happen again during this recording. So yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll work this time. But yeah, with that being said, uh, we will get on with the sales update. So this uh, week, it's been a bit mixed. Monday and Tuesday were great. Wednesday, Thursday were not so great, and now it's Friday morning, so we're yet to see what uh, Friday will bring for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, if today's going to be a decent day, if it turns out to be a decent day uh, for sales, then obviously that kind of outweighs uh, the two bad days. You know, I've got, I'll, have, I'll have had three good days this week and then two, two bad days. So uh, yeah, we'll see what today brings, but it's been a bit more mixed this week. However, saying that, you know, I've had it pretty decent for, well, from late January, uh, probably about the 25th, 26th of January, something like that, maybe 27th, um, all the way up till, I would say, about the 10th, 11th of Feb, it's been pretty decent. Um, you know, there's been a couple of bad days here and there, but generally, it's been it, it been a lot better. So, um, yeah, you know, it, it's just one of those things, some weeks you're gonna be, are going to be a bit mixed, you know. So, um, yeah, basically, I will stop rambling now, and uh, I will get on with uh, the first sale here, which is a set of two Royal Worcester Eves and Gold uh, ceramic napkin rings. I actually got these from an auction job, like, they only cost me like one or two quid literally hardly anything um obviously i got four well actually i don't know whether i got 14 and i think i might have got 12.99 for these but ebay aren't showing me the offer that i accepted so yeah i might have got 12.99 for these plus my postage um i actually had some i think they're called egg coddlers um and i had two of these you know the same pattern but in egg coddlers, and I got like 16 99 or something, plus post for them, they were also boxed, um, but yeah, so these took a little bit longer to go than those others, um, but yeah, still got some decent money for them, and considering they didn't really owe me a lot in a job, like, I'm more than happy just to get them out for, for a standard sort of range, of you know, like a bread and butter range, um, so yeah, pretty happy with that one there, uh, nothing spectacular, but again, something to be looking out for at the auctions or wherever, that, uh, you know, is a nice little item that you can just make a little bit of money on. So yeah, that's those ones there. Next, we've got the Hobbit collectible action figure. Don't know how you quite pronounce this name. I'm guessing it's like Toriel or Torrell, Toriel, Toriel maybe. I don't know. Um, I don't really follow the Hobbit or the Lord of the Rings. That's kind of more fantasy and the way I kind of branch out is more into science fiction because I like the logic and the the um. I don't know, like, just the science, scientific nature behind it. I'm very well aware that it's science fiction, so it doesn't exist. But I like how they can logically define things. So they can say, um, you know, we're going faster than the speed of light because of this calculation here, even though the calculation is made up. I like the kind of logic behind that, even though it is false logic. Whereas with... The Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings, I, I like them. I think they're a brilliant universe. Um, same with Harry Potter, I think they're a brilliant universe. But I can't really see the science behind it. And I'm a person who needs to see the logic or the science just in the way my brain works. Uh, whereas other people don't need to see the science or the logic behind things because different people's brains work in different ways. So I'm not really big into The Hobbit opposed to things like Doctor Who or, uh, you know, any other, like, sci-fi thing. Like, I like Star Wars as well, things like that. Um, but, you know, I appreciate what it is. I think it's a brilliant universe. But as you can see here, actually getting back to uh, the sale, um, you can see here I got 19.99 for this figure uh, plus my postage, and uh, I was really really happy with that. This seems to be one of the slightly more sought after figures, um, and uh, you know as I say I got 19.99, so that was quite a nice little price on that one. I got these from my dad's friend. I got 23 figures for 30 pound, so this owes me like less than two. Yeah, it'd be like less than two quid. It'd be like 
£1.30 a figure or something. Um, so yeah, £1.30 into 1999 plus my postage. More than happy with that. Lovely little margin there. And uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. Um, so next is this vintage rough uh, carved wooden uh, rhino animal figure. You can see there, uh, I don't know whether you can actually pick it up from the title uh, just, but I will actually tell you what I'm meaning. Um, when I was writing this title, I was really trying to pluck keywords out of thin air or pluck things out of thin air because I couldn't seem to title this item. I couldn't seem to get the keywords that I wanted to get at the time. And I ended up just like trying to structure some sort of basic title for this item and uh, uh, and then obviously list it. I couldn't, I, I couldn't seem to... Uh, grasp what keywords would be good for this item. So obviously I've already put in there like wooden and rhino and animal and carved figure etc. Um, but I couldn't seem to think of anything else, you know. Um, you know, maybe I could have put something like a desk ornament or home decor or something like that. But I never know whether, whether they're like great keywords to actually put in your title. I feel like I'd just be adding them on for kind of no reason really um but it did saying that even though I, I, I was kind of just trying to scramble around for a title it still did sell pretty quickly only after two or three weeks so i can't really complain with that and this figure actually comes in uh, a job lot that i mean as a part of a job lot this literally owes me about 20 pence 20 or 30 p uh literally like nothing um, because I got this in a large job lot of ethnic stuff and souvenir pieces and random odds and sods, really random wooden items and loads of different things were in this job lot. Um, and there was like three boxes in the job lot and I got it for like £10 or £15 plus commission and there was loads of items in there. So probably works out in next to nothing. So really, really good uh, price on this 19 99 plus postage considering I got it for pretty much next to nothing. So yeah, pretty happy on that one. Nice little sale there. There. Next, we've got this uh, vintage old hall pewter metal tea set. Uh, this has got a milk jug, a sugar pot, teapot, etc. And then it's also got a tray as well. Um, but yeah, $24.99 plus my postage on this one. I will have uh, paid, I say paid up, but I will have got this in maybe a smaller auction job lot. So I probably would be looking the cost into this would be five or six quid, something like that, opposed to something that I would have got in a larger auction job lot that would have worked out at less as an individual cost. So this would have cost me a little bit more, I'd say maybe five or six quid for this set, but still I'm happy to pay that when I'm getting, you know, 25 quid plus postage out of it, um, and yeah, you know, I don't know about some of this old haul stuff, I think some of it can do a little bit better than, than these pieces, um, I don't really know whether it's a uh, incredibly sought after brand or anything i've had it a couple of times but i don't know all that much about it to be honest um but i do think it's a very practical brand and i do think it's a uh, a lot of people do like to use it because of that um but i just don't know whether there's any real amazing gems in there you know from this brand but there may be you know there may be certain items that you can get really really good money for, for from this brand but, but i'm not sure as i say um but yeah so it's nice sale that one anyway Next, we've got this Doctor Who Banner Cafe Latter um, figure from Voyage of the Damned. I think that was the 2008 Christmas special. Uh, you can see there I've got 19.99 for this figure. It's a little bit more of a sought-after figure. You might be able to push... 22.99 maybe a push like but you might be waiting for that uh just to give you a bit of context if you ever pick up this figure you might want to push a little bit higher um but you know 19.99 is pretty much top whack so um you know you probably wouldn't be able to get too much more unless you're willing to wait a while um but yeah this uh guy is from as i say voyage of damned uh, he's like a, a cyborg as well as being like well cyborg implies being metal and like uh, organic at the same time anyway but i was gonna say he's like a cyborg mixed with an organic being but when you say the word cyborg that's what it's implying anyway so i don't need to imply that again um but yeah so he's like a cy cyborg he ends up sacrificing himself uh, i think it's on the bridge uh, where basically we're all crossing the bridge and then the hosts are, uh, are basically attacking him with the, the halos um and then he sacrifices himself he uses like his energy uh, is like his energy compartment or something inside himself that's powering himself. He uses that as like a weapon to destroy the host. I'm not uh, too much of a fan of The Voyage of the Damned. Not because I don't think it's a good episode. I think it's a very, very well-written episode. I think the performances in it are brilliant. But I just feel it leans quite a lot 
on the themes that we saw in Robots of Death in the Tom Baker era. You know, it, it, the, the robots in Robots of Death are very, very similar to the host. And that, for me... <sighs> I just feel it could have been the alien or the threat of the host could have been maybe aesthetically a little bit different or maybe could have had uh, a few more different attributes to them that kind of set them apart a little bit more from Robots of Death because in Robots of Death we have the idea that the robots are killing the people and stuff and then it's not worked out until the end. I think in the en at the end of it, it it's uh, worked out that someone's actually control like a human's controlling them or something like that but I haven't watched it for a while actually that episode so I'd have to go back to confirm that. Um, but yeah, you know, and, and, and it's also got that same theme in, in Voyage of the Damned, but I could ramble about this for ages, because you know what, what I'm like with Doctor Who, but yeah, that's a bit more of a sort after figure, so if you see it at the car boot for like 50p or a quid or two quid or whatever, pick that one up, because you're going to get a bit more money for it than the standard figures. So yeah, that's that one. Next we've got this vintage grade pottery, ceramic sun buff, uh, sun buff uh, pattern coffee set. Now you can see, unfortunately here, there's been some... Uh, restoration, there's obviously been a crack at some point, and someone's probably had an attempt at restorating it, or some, restorating it, is that right? Or someone's had an attempt at restoration, maybe that's more of the, the terminology I want to use, um, but yeah, you can see, you know, it's, it's not very, you know, it's not brilliant, um, that that's obviously happened, um, you can see here in the conditioner, I'll put the lid of the copy for, coffee pot has been broken and restored somewhat. I got 17 99 plus postage for this little set. The other items are in good condition. There's no chips or anything like that. Um, so obviously when you've got something like that, when you've got like a coffee set or a tea set that's ceramic and maybe one little item of the set is, um, you know, is broken somewhat or there's some, just some imperfection to it or whatever it may be, you know, whether there's a firing fault or whether there's uh, you know, a chip, or whether there's a crack, or whether it's been restored, whatever it may be, if you've got other items that, uh, you know, kind of go with it, then it's always worth putting it on, maybe reducing your price a little bit more, um, you know, than, than obviously the, the going weight, and just waiting, sitting on it, because someone's probably going to come along and end up uh, picking it off eventually, and as you see, as I mentioned, I got 17 99 plus posts with that, so, so pretty happy with that, this will have came in an auction job lot, probably would would have cost me about a five of this one to be honest um, and as you can see there I got 17.99 plus my post so it wasn't the best margin um, I don't know I probably would have seen the crack um, at the auction and then just ended up going on it anyway and see seeing how it played out for me um, and yeah as, as I say um, pretty nice item but it is unfortunate of the crack because it is a nice uh, little coffee set this it's really nice design very very simple design but that's what I like about it that's what is very appealing to me, but it is a bit of a shame about that lid being cracked. But yeah, that's that one there. Next, we've got something that I feel I might have undersold. This is this Daily Dispatch, The Nation Pays Homage, uh, Mary Lying in State, Newspaper 1953. This went very, very quickly. It went within a few hours. Um, and as you can see there, I put, put it on for 14 99 plus my postage, or 14 95 plus my postage. And yeah, it just went very, very quickly. And that got me thinking, well, you know, as it does, like a lot of the time when, when something goes quick, gets you thinking, like, did I undersell it? Could I have got... You know, how much more could I have got? Could I have got five or more? Could I have got a ten or more? Could uh, Have I completely undersold it and, and mispriced it by 30 quid or something? Um, because with these newspapers, there, there literally isn't any on. Like, for a lot of the newspapers that I was dealing with, if you don't know, I shared on my Instagram account, um, you know, that I was dealing with a load of newspapers. I had bought uh, the job lot for £10 plus commission. There was about 50 or 60 newspapers in there. Um, and, you know, I'm going to make brilliant money on them, no matter what I price them at, to be honest. Even if I was to price them all at about £5 plus postage each, I'd make brilliant money on them because I got them for a great price. But at the same time, because, you know, because there's none on and I've not got anything to match them to, it's kind of just a guessing game of, like, what do I feel someone would pay for this? And what do I feel someone would pay for this one? There are, granted, on some of the sold listings, there are some of them on, and then you can go off those, which are a bit easier. Um, but for some of the items, there isn't either any sold listings on or, or anything like that. So... Um, I just literally whacked a price on at these 14.95 plus my postage, and uh, yeah, it went pretty quick. Maybe I could have got more, but um, I mean, basically in this one sale, I've pretty much covered my cost, or very nearly covered my cost. So, uh, considering I've got about 
another 45 newspapers uh, that will be over a tenner each. That's £450 plus my postage on top. But Well, let's let's avoid postage. For 450 quid plus I've got, uh, you know, a couple that have already sold. So I'm looking about... Uh, 470 pound back hopefully fingers crossed uh, depending on if I have to come down and stuff but potentially 470 pound back from 10 pound plus commission in a job lot so when you look at it like that it's like well does it matter that I've undersold it by whatever amount and for me personally I know some people will think well yeah it does you know but for me personally I'm like you know it's it's okay if I if I if it came from another job lot that I was not going to make as much profit on because I'd maybe made a mistake on it, then I'd be like, yeah, I've got to squeeze as much out of it as I can and still hopefully sell it in a fairly quick time frame. But because it's come from a job lot that I'm going to make loads of money on anyway, it's not so much of, a, of an issue for me. But yeah, that's that one anyway. I won't ramble about that anymore. I just rambled for about three minutes on that one, I'm sure. Um, but next was this Doctor Who The Silence Great. Uh, this was the open mouth variant. Um, and yeah, I got £12.60 for this one. Another one that you may want to be looking out for to sell individually, these silence figures. Uh, these aren't really like uh, things you want to be putting in bundles because, um, you know, as I say, you can get some good money for them on their own. So you wouldn't want to shoot yourself in the foot and, and put these in a little bundle of four or five figures for £10 plus postage, something like that. Um, because, you know, as I say, you're not going to get as uh, as good return on them. Um, so, yeah, that was quite nice, that one. You know, nothing amazing, but uh, something I wanted to show there. Um, next, we've got these uh, vintage Art Deco white Bezic Ware 616 pattern jugs. Had these in my cabinet for quite a while for 20 or £25 pound for the pair. Obviously, they didn't sell in my cabinet when I, when I was doing the cabinet. Um, and, yeah, I just whacked them on eBay. I think I started them off at 20 quid plus post. And, obviously, at some point during the last few months have come down to 17.99 plus post and then they finally got picked off so i was pretty happy with that um you know i mean it was a shame that we didn't sell in the cabinet but yeah the cabinet was just one of those experiments that and i kind of i'm glad i did it but it really did show me that uh it's not worth it. You know, the cabinets are not worth it. The, the, the antique booths, maybe they're worth it. But the cabinets, yeah, I don't see how people are making much money in those. Um, but still, you know, these went on eBay, so I was pretty happy with that. So that's that one there. And then finally, we've got some more Doc 2 figures to finish on. These are the Silorians. We've got one just like sort of normal Silorian there. And then we've got a General Westack there, which is like a military general. These actually came with their masks and their guns, which is always nice, obviously. Obviously, collectors will be wanting to see those with them. Um, so, yeah, 965 uh, for two figures like that. I'm really, really happy with that. Um, I was uh, previously bundling these in, in like... Uh, job lots, uh, you know, like the four or five figures for like £10 plus postage or £12.99 plus postage. Um, but then I realised, well, what I can do is do, you know, themed bundles of these and, and get a little bit more money out of them. So instead of getting, you know, doing four figures for £10 plus postage, I've now got te uh, two figures for £10, you know, free post. So, you know, I'm getting a bit more out of them, um, you know, if I actually do it this way opposed to bundling them. So, yeah, pretty happy with that one. So, that is all the sales, guys. I'm sorry if it overran a little bit. I know I was doing a lot of rambling in there, so it's probably gone way over the 10 minutes today. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy the video, then please do give it a like down below. If you haven't already, then please do consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. And if you have any questions, comments, or queries about any of the stuff you've seen, then please do drop a comment down below. And hopefully, I will get back to as many people as I can. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. So I'll see you very soon, guys. Thank you.